Hello everyone, today we will have two interesting stories. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community. Write how to improve my community, current topics and the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now let's go. Hello, I want to tell you my story. I know that most people have been through a similar situation. I would like to hear wise advice in the comments. I've been married to my wife for eight years. I have a son who is seven years old. I will not say that there was a huge love between me and my wife. We, like all people, quarreled and reconciled, just like most married couples. Everything happened, but we found compromises and continued to live. Suddenly, there came a moment when during the conflict between us, my wife rudely demanded that I get out of her house. She said I was a very bad man and didn't give her time, that our relationship has reached an impasse. In general, I didn't even realize how many negative qualities I had. I was furious at what I heard. I have put a lot of effort into providing for my family. Out of eight years of our life together, my wife has not worked for six years. There were many reasons and excuses on her part. I packed my things and went to my mother for a while. I was thinking of getting my nerves in order. Then I'll go home and try to make peace with her. But everything happened quite differently. The very next day, I started writing to her on social networks and asking for forgiveness. In response, she repeated the same thing to me. I don't see the point in our relationship. You're a bad husband. You're a bad father. And so on. The first week passed in such an atmosphere. The next weekend, I tried to arrange to come and see my child and I wanted to talk to my wife face to face. My wife replied to me that she was not going to receive me as a guest because the master had to come to her and solve everyday issues. Hearing this, I'll offer my help. Why hire a master if I've always fixed these problems before? My wife was categorically against my arrival. In general, I was able to come to her house a week later. I spent a few hours with my son. I was very interested and I began to ask the child, what happened while I was away from home? In the end, what will I find out? When I received a categorical rejection from my wife, my wife invited her new boyfriend into the house. By the way, my wife is 29 and her new boyfriend is 19. They spent the day together, drank a lot of alcohol, and my wife's new boyfriend stayed with her overnight. Upon learning such news, I was shocked. It was like the ceiling had collapsed on my head. I was walking home in a daze. I trust my son, but I wanted confirmation of this situation from my wife. She continued to criticize and insult me. After that, my wife still admitted that she has a man. She confessed to having sex with him. After that, I asked how long they had been together. My wife told me that she met him when we were in a quarrel. I don't consider myself a stupid person. That's why I didn't believe in these fairy tales, because that's what it turns out out of her words. On April 25, a fatal quarrel occurs, and I leave. She had already met him on the 1st of May. Two days after the acquaintance, my wife invites him to her house. I asked her a question, do you even believe in your own words? She looked at me nervously and was silent. It was obvious that she herself understood that this was nonsense. As it turned out later, they had known each other for four months. When I asked my wife what she had done, I got a stupid answer. We broke up. Now I can do anything. I was shocked. When people are faced with this situation, they sit down at the negotiating table. People explain to each other and so on. There's no point in torturing each other. Therefore, people make a mutual decision. That's what it's called to disperse peacefully. But my wife was waiting for an opportunity to kick me out like a dog. At the moment, everything is going to court and divorce. But my wife doesn't sign the documents. She added me to the blacklist in all social networks. I can't reach my son either. To be honest, it's very hard for me mentally. I understand that this is the end, but my heart and my soul are just bursting. I have one question in my head. Why did she do this to me? Why did she do this to me? 
I would understand everything if I were a demon in our relationship. I would drink alcohol, cheat on her, or beat up the family. I'm not going to say that I'm the perfect person, but I understand what family values are. At the moment, I don't understand what to do. I've hired a lawyer to help me with my divorce. I want to see my son. That's the most important thing for me. At the moment, I live one. I am not ready for a new relationship. Please tell me how to move away from this situation. I'm not a stupid person, but now bad thoughts are coming into my head. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid and I don't want to do anything wrong. I will wait for wise advice in the comments. Before we go into the opinion of the author of the channel, we're going to have another short story. Let's go. I am 36 years old. My wife is 35 years old. We have been married for 12 years. We have two children. We started living in her apartment. But over time, we bought a large apartment in the city center. We lived happily. Everything was as usual. I worked and I had a good salary enough to live on. I'll start from the beginning. Two years ago, we took an apartment on credit and did repairs in it. The youngest child went to school. My wife hadn't found a job yet. I worked overtime to support my family. After a while, I noticed that my wife had a new friend on social networks. When I asked who it was, my wife replied that it was an old acquaintance of hers. I strongly tried to find out more information, but my wife said I was paranoid that she was just talking to him. I started following my wife on social media. They talked every day. I didn't know what their correspondence was about, but I always noticed that they were both online. They both also logged Went Out Network. I asked my wife to stop communicating with them. It was the first call for me. After a while, I took my wife's mobile phone and went in into social networks. There were a lot of messages from this guy. But my wife deleted the most interesting and only fragments remained. But there were hearts and kisses. I tried to talk to my wife, but she ignored me. She claimed that it was just communication. But I noticed that my wife has changed a lot. We stopped having sex. We have fewer common interests and so on. My wife answered all my questions that she had a crisis. She began to go often on weekends to her best friend. She began to devote less time to our children. All our attempts to talk seriously ended in ignoring or tears. She said she didn't know what was happening to her. She's a bad wife and so on. This went on for six months. Complete apathy for me and the children. I started jumping like a horned deer. I gives gifts, spent time with children, cooked food, and so on. I wanted to be a good husband. We lived in such an atmosphere for nine months, without sex in a common life. Finally, I started thinking with my head and began to follow my wife. I found out that my wife has been building a relationship with this guy all this time. It all started with correspondence, but it all ended with dirty sex. I saw my wife's correspondence. She wrote to her friends asking them to help her. She suffered a lot and didn't know what to do. She had a choice to go to her lover or stay with me and the children. As a result, when I found out all this, I told her to pack her things and get out of my house. I hired a lawyer and filed for divorce. After that, my wife started writing and calling nonstop. She came to my house and asked for forgiveness. She said she loved me and wanted to get our relationship back. She swore that she had not had sex with her lover, but I can't forgive treason. Moreover, my wife's betrayal lasted for several months. My wife cries every day and tries to beg my forgiveness. But I can't forgive her. She became disgusting to me. Conclusions, all girls are the same. They are driven by instincts. You need to control your girls in all possible ways. In no case can you be a horned deer. It doesn't matter how rich or beautiful you are. Girls will always be looking for emotions. As soon as the girl feels weak, She'll find another man right away, if this story helps anyone at least. So I didn't tell it in vain. I am currently divorced and live with two children. Don't repeat my mistakes. If you like the story, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, so as not to miss new videos. Now let's move on to the opinion of the author of the channel. The opinion of the author of the channel. By tradition, I want to wish strength and patience to our heroes. In both cases, the result is correct. Despite the mistakes of our heroes, I'll give advice to the first guy. You have a chance for a new life. Don't try to make yourself a victim. Do something you love or get a hobby. As soon as you get better, your wife will beg you to come back to her. 
but in no case, do not do this. You have to start a new life. Seek support from close friends and relatives. Most of the words relate to the second hero. Bring up children is the most important thing in our life, but don't forget to develop yourself. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shipping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.